Tonight, the latest developments on a story that Target 12 investigators first broke. Thrill kill. Convicted murderer Alfred Brissett will remain behind bars for now. Today, a key hearing before the parole board. Brissett was trying again for an early release after the board reversed its initial decision to let him out. Target 12 was the first to reveal Brissett served just 13 years of a 35-year sentence. Tonight, for the first time, a family member of the murder victim speaks out and only to Eyewitness News. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. The parole board says new information came to light regarding Brissett's plan for his life on the outside. They declined to say what that was, but tell us they will gather more information and revisit his case in January. Police say Alfred Brissett and Mark Gerard planned to murder a woman at random. In 1999, they targeted 38-year-old Jeanette Dakota. Well, the whole, we were all in shock. Linda Mannery was the victim's cousin. She says the family learned about Brissett's pending release from the news. When you heard about that, what did you think? I was appalled. I was scared because he killed a human being. He wasn't on a hunting trip trying to kill a deer. He plotted to see what it would feel like. Dakota was lured to these woods in Boroughville with a promise of drugs, but instead court records show Brissette beat her with this lug wrench Gerard used to shovel. Brissette once again went before the parole board here at the medium security building of the ACI. The meeting was closed to everyone, including Dakota's family and friends. Mannery says she hopes she gets the opportunity to address the parole board. Well, first I would like to uh, thank them for reviewing this again. I just want them to please reconsider and I beg them not to let him out early for good behavior. Mannery tells me no one from the parole board ever contacted them regarding Brissett's initial release, but she says she doesn't blame them because much of the family spread out after Dakota's mother died. But now she says they will be watching this case closely. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.